Hi, I'm Tom Hollingsworth. Welcome to Networking Field Day. We're here in Mountain View, California at the offices of VeloCloud. The presentation that you are about to watch features VeloCloud's products and solutions and a group of networking community delegates who are invited to ask questions, make comments, and offer their opinions in front of a recorded video. If you would like to learn more about this and other exciting topics, including how to become a delegate or a presenter at the event, please go to our website at techfieldday.com. If you'd like to watch more videos about this and other exciting technology topics, please see our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash techfieldday. So again, introducing uh, Mike Frayn and Michael uh, Miller from Earthlink. And on to the first slide. We're on the customer experience slide. Uh, go ahead, guys. Okay. Thank you, everybody. We really appreciate the opportunity to come in and talk to you today for the uh, network field days. Uh, one of the key decisions that Earthlink made in our SD-WAN selection was the ability to be able to integrate the SD-WAN platform into our existing uh, customer network management tools. So what I want to talk about first is the Earthlink experience, and this is what we have designed in for our SD-WAN solution. It gives, the, it gives us the capability of being able to easily design and build and then order the SD-WAN solution all through our portal experience. And then for our customers, they're able to uh, report and analyze their SD-WAN experience, and then they're also able to manage their services directly through the portal. And this provides a single pane of glass that the customer can use to manage their entire network experience. Everything from going through and uh, looking at their bills to looking at their trouble tickets to managing and making changes within their network. Next slide. Okay. So as part of our process for integrating Velo Cloud into our MyLink portal. We decided that one of the main main differentiators for us was going to be having this customer experience, where the customer could come into a management screen and actually enter information about their their network for network collection, and have this be the front end to the process for going through and actually starting the configuration, creating the customer, and then actually building the sites within the Velo Cloud Orchestrator. Now, what's different about this is this is all done through our, our MyLink portal, and both our sales engineers and the customers have access to this information. So it eliminates the need for passing a lot around spreadsheets. It eliminates confusion in having multiple versions. And then once the order configuration is complete, we go ahead and we submit the order for configuration, and then it pushes all that information from our, our portal into a middleware layer, and then from that middleware, it calls the VeloCloud APIs and then populates the VeloCloud orchestrator. All this is done uh, very quickly and is very scalable. But this is, this is a critical piece because it, it really gives us control over the customer experience and allows us to very effectively collect information from that customer. Next slide. So what you'll see in the in the next slide is that the interface is very similar to what's in the Velo Cloud Orchestrator. So the information came from that configuration screen, and now it populates the edge configuration components. So you can see everything from from what LANs you have, what uh, wide area networks you have, and then each of these different items is is completely expandable. So you can you can quickly add additional information. So if you needed to see what VLANs were assigned or what management VLANs or even what edges you have available to you. And again, all this is, is set up right in, in the customer's portal. So now that customer can see what their configuration is for their for their edges and they can they can even for the administrators, they can go in and make changes to their edge as well. They have full self service capability for these functions that we exposed to the customer through the MyLink portal. This is also one of the other benefits for being able to use an API for a network service provider, is that we have control over the features that are getting released to the customer. 
So we can, we can add a new feature. It could be an Earthlink only feature, or we can decide that you know, a new VeloCloud feature, we're gonna add that feature into our portal. Next slide. So digging into the configuration of the edges, what, what, what we've done here is we've made it very simple so that when you look at the number of edges that you have for a network, that you can easily go back and forth and configure that edge. You can see what business policies are enabled or what firewall policies. So by clicking on the different icons, so in this example, by clicking on the device icon, you pull back and you're right back into the device, the device tab where you can then go in and make a configuration for that edge. So we've tried to make this a one-click type of solution where the customer can see what's happening in their network, they can see what devices are, are available and what the status is, and then be able to click on that device and make any configuration changes. Next slide. So in this view, what you're seeing is a VeloCloud edge at a customer location. And what we've done is we've provided a graphic representation to the customer so that they can easily troubleshoot where they may have a problem. So they can, they can identify which port, which interface is connected, and then by hovering over either the, the port on the VeloCloud edge or on the interface link below, you'll see which one is, is lighting up in, in to the corresponding uh, port or corresponding interface. This is very helpful for troubleshooting. So you may have a customer that's in a, a remote location. They may not have uh, highly technical uh, staff at that location. And by using this, you can show them, okay, you need to go to the first port at the top and you need to change that connection. So it's, it's really easy to help help our customers to understand what is connected where. We can also use this to, to guide a customer along in the installation process. Uh, by clicking on the down arrow, you can see that you get more device information. So we're extracting all this information in real time from the API, pulling that information. Uh, we've also simplified the interface screen so that the customer can see the live performance, latency, jitter, and packet loss for each of their, each of their active interfaces. Next screen. So like the VeloCloud portal, what we're showing you here is the monitoring capability. And we have the same monitoring capability for our customers. So you'll have an, an overview, you'll have the quality of experience, the transport monitoring, application monitoring, source monitoring, destination and business priority monitoring. And what you're seeing here is the quality of uh, experience for our voice service and you have the capability of being able to go through and hover over where you're seeing that there may be impairment and then by hovering over that you'll see what the issue would have been so was it a latency issue or a jitter issue in this case it was a, a latency issue and then it will instruct you what 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 latency issue was being reported and then it will also show you what remediation is being taken by the edge to correct that issue and then we're also tying this to our, our SLA, so customers can go in and they can see what their SLA is for a specific uh, edge device by looking at the QOE score for that edge. Next slide. So in, in this view, what you're looking at is the transport utilization, and you're looking at the average throughput. So what we have done is we've gone through and we've uh, created the capability to, to view what's happening both downstream and upstream. You can, see, you can see the amount of traffic that is flowing, but we've also added some functionality that would help customers from an operational perspective so that if they, they do need to send any of this information uh, around in their organization, that they can use the print option and they can actually send out either a CSV formatted report or they can send out a PDF formatted report. And this option is also available for the applications, the sources, the destination, and the business profile page. So if you're seeing an issue on the network that needs attention, you can use that print function to be able to go through and, and download that information and then send that information around uh, to the appropriate parties. 
Now, obviously, sending information is always a little bit antiquated, but it does give customers a, a, an additional option for being able to provide reports about a specific situation. Next slide. So in this slide, what you're seeing is a representation of the application monitoring. And in this example, you can see that this customer has Microsoft Office 365 as one of their top applications. And then by clicking on Office 365, you can drill right down into the top destinations. Uh, in addition to that, you can see the top operating systems that are available. And then, and then if you need to drill into a specific application, you go up to the legend section and you can click on and off the items that are in the legend and that will actually change the view that the customer has in the graph. Uh, the time horizons up above, so you've got the same, same kind of navigation that you would in the VeloCloud orchestrator, so you can pick everything from the last 60 minutes up to the last, uh, last year as your time horizon for viewing the statistics. Next slide. So finally, one of the additional integration points that we've made is on the ticketing integration. So we have integrated the VeloCloud events and alerts into our ticketing platform so that when a VeloCloud alert is generated, a customer ticket will be generated. So customers are very familiar with going through and, and entering tickets if there's a service in, interruption or issue affecting their service. In this case, the ticket automatically gets generated for them. So alert statuses like link up or link down or edge up or edge down or VPN tunnel down, those are automatically correct, creating tickets. In addition to that, we're using the Velo Cloud API to actually create performance-based tickets as well. So if we have a link that is seeing a high degree of latency or a high degree of packet loss or jitter, we're actually using that information coming directly out of the API to create a ticket that would go right into our Remedy ticketing platform so that when the customer logs in, they can see that there may have been a performance issue on their network uh, and that we're working that issue, actively working that issue. So this really helps our care and repair teams. It also helps to provide the information to the customer so that they can stay informed with what's happening for their service. Uh, and because because this the portal is completely a self-service portal as well, customers can go in and they can make changes to their configuration. They can add business policies and change business policies. They can change or update firewall rules. And they can see what's happening within their network in real time. So it, it gives the customer the power to uh, not only have the visibility and control of their applications, but also have the visibility and control over their entire network. So we're, we're really pleased with the capabilities that VeloCloud has provided through their open API structure and being able to integrate this kind of capability directly into our MyLink portal. Next slide. So just to, just to summarize, so the Earthlink experience allows us to integrate all the functionality directly into MyLink. We're able to provide our customers with that single pane of glass. We have full self-service capabilities for customers who want to monitor and manage their own SD-WAN solution in real time. And then you know, one of the values that we've seen with our SD-WAN deployments is really that the analytics are so critical to the IT and network professionals that they get that visibility and control over their network and really to help them continue that evolution to the cloud. So it's uh, exciting that we're able to integrate these features directly into our MyLink platform and provide that functionality uh, to our customers through the Velo Cloud API. Great. Michael and Mike, thanks so much for sharing your use case with us.